brothers and sisters in Christ, I have to share something with you. Last night, when I got on with the Google Meet, the Grafted In Team Jesus group, the team, I broke in. To, well, they were when they had a were finished talking about something, and I said something. Oh, hi, I'm here, and hi, so and so and so and so, and said something about. I don't know. I can't remember. I think maybe what what are y'all listening to? And they said some something. And Kathy, Kathy answered, and then. She started talking again, and as soon as she shut up, <laughs> I don't mean shut up, stop talking. <laughs> I said something else, and then I said, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to break in again, which we can, of course. That's why we're a team, and we can certainly break in and say, I think that means blah, blah, blah. Let's say we're going over a dream, and we can all have our input, and then she won't put it up on video unless we all agree that that's what that means. Okay, that's just an example of the kind of things we do. But anyway, I said, I'm sorry I broke in again, but there's something going on around here. And I think it was Dan that, I get, forgive me if I'm wrong, if y'all see this, but I mean, Kathy and Dan, if you see this, forgive me if I get the details wrong, but I'm almost certain it was Dan said, I I felt something was going on. And long story short, I went through another heart healing and deliverance. Y'all don't realize how important this is. You have... You may have, if you've got any problems of any kind going on, like maybe smoking, maybe um, some other kind of addiction, maybe you're overeating, maybe you're um, under eating, you know, you got a problem with your image, so you don't eat enough, you're not eating healthy because you want to stay skinny, that's a problem. You may have a heart healing issue anyway she just started asking me these questions and all of a sudden I start realizing uh, the, the demonic spirit we were dealing with was abandonment and because I've lost or three marriages ended because I was abandoned for another woman. Even though they didn't leave me first. They were being, I guess, kind enough to stay because I was sick. The last two. The first one I had to get away from because he was getting so mean and uh, physically abusive before it was just verbally and I, I think he was narcissist I don't know but anyway the problem is the stuff from the first marriage came up and we dealt with it and it was like Kathy calls them little boxes we form little black boxes in our heart we tuck stuff away so it'll stop hurting. But later, something will remind you of that. And you don't even realize it. But the issue, my issue was I was getting angry too easily. I was getting angry at my dog. I got angry at these people and I was trying to tell them to not take the vaccine and yelled at them it's gonna send you to hell of course you know that was offensive I should have just told them quietly all the side effects stuff you know what I knew about the vaccine and 
all the ingredients I knew it had in it. And instead, I just yelled that, and that wasn't effective. They all took it. So then now I'm all upset about that, you know, all but one. My best friend didn't take it. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Anyway, oh, it's upstairs. It's up, it's upstairs. It's not at the door. It's not at the door. Good boy. No, no, they're not barking at the door, baby. They're working on the apartment upstairs. We hear a lot of tapping and banging. But anyway, okay, so I got another healing and here I am thinking, I'm good. I've gotten rid of all my demons. I've opened all my boxes. Because I've gone through this with her twice. Different things came up. All right. I want you. I want to read something that was in my email from Dawn. The very first entry from called Small Straws in a Soft Wind by Marsha Burns. You can't tell me this is coincidence, y'all. Beloved, let go of past regrets. No one can navigate life on the earth without making mistakes and having a lapse in judgment from time to time. Boy, howdy did I. At that time in my life, I had lapses in judgment for sure. I'll continue. All you have to do is realize what you have done and turn from unrighteous behavior, which I have done, but apparently it, I put it in a little box in my heart. You have heard it said, quote, to err is human, to forgive is divine, unquote. When you repent, I will forgive. She put the scripture, Acts 3, 19. Repent, therefore, and be converted that your sins may be blotted out so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. Isn't that beautiful? I tell you, he put that there for me. He gave her that word yesterday, it would have been, because this comes from China, Hong Kong. So, it got in my mailbox at 8.04 a.m. Because Dawn then has to see who got a message and type it all up and then email it all out to anybody who subscribes. And the Lord gave, what's her name? <laughs> Marsha Burns. <laughs> this message, I thought, our God is so good. What a confirmation that that's what was my problem. Anyway, I suggest if you have a problem, you send an email over to Kathy at Grafted in Team Jesus. Just spell it all out with no spaces. 222 at gmail.com If you think you have a problem and it might stem from something in your past or you don't even know, you can email her. She'll tell you. All right. Thank you, Jesus. You're so wonderful. You're so awesome. You are so beautiful to me. And I can't wait to be with him. He truly is my husband already.
You know that's what the word says. I think it's Isaiah 54 5. Let me make sure. I don't want to tell you wrong. I have it on a shirt. <laughs> 54 5. Which caused somebody to ask me, Have you ever been married? <laughs> said oh yeah for thy maker is thine husband Isaiah 54 verse 5 the Lord of hosts is his name and thy Redeemer the Holy One of Israel the God of the whole earth shall he be called now that's King James let me do NASB. They capitalize where it needs to be. For your husband is your maker, whose name is the Lord of hosts, and your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel, who is called the God of all the earth. How's that for some morning bread? So I will plead the blood of Jesus over this video. And over each and every one of us, and all our devices, and our internet connection. And I don't think of anything better I could have put up this morning. God bless each and every single one of you. Bye for now. Talk to you later.